What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and the company I will be working with today is Nadula Hair. Jumping right in, they sent me some new, nice little goodies. I got this cute little Nadula elastic band. Of course, your wig cap. And then of course, a goodies bag with some extra goodies. I got another adjustable, um, well sorry, elastic band. Of course, a cute little silk bonnet and then some cute little mink 3d lashes this is the unit this is their 24 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal highlighted water wave wig it did come in 150 density um, it did come with two three combs an adjustable elastic band and then of course your handy dandy adjustable straps in the back now this lace is hd um, I did go ahead and plug and bleach knots off camera. Those of you who've been following me already know how I get down. Now, jumping right in, I'm showing you guys what the hairline is looking like. Straight out the box. Um, well, sorry, straight on my head. It ain't straight out the box, you know. And now I'm just cutting off the excess lace with my cuticle scissors because it was a little too far deep down. You know, I couldn't see and shit. But cutting out my little ear tabs on both sides i'm just using my cuticle scissors and cutting away from my face going directly where my ear crease is going or the shape of my ear you don't want to cut too much because then it'll be looking crazy once that's done i'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side until we get the full frontal looking how i need it to look for you know our hair lines once that's done i am going to take my cuticle scissors down the middle and split that lace up and then I'm going to be using an eyebrow razor to cut off the excess lace here you guys see I already did my little split in the middle and I'm just cutting off my excess lace like so once I get that done I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side and then we're going to go in with our adhesive and get ready to lay this lace down Next, I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation Powder in the shade Honey Beige. And we're just going to pop that into the perimeter of the lace. Um, even though this is HD lace, it was looking a little bit clear or grayish on my skin. And that is a big no-no. We want it to look like scalp. Now I'm going to take my Erica J adhesive. I did off camera, went and drew me like a little line so I could see where to stop putting my adhesive since I don't have a ball cap on. I just wanted to make sure I didn't put my adhesive down too far on my forehead because then that'll be a huge mess trying to clean up once you know everything's already dry i do do three layers of adhesive and i wait until it dries completely clear as you guys can see it does not take long for it to dry at all once that is done um, I go in for my second layer and then I'm just using my blow dryer in between and like I said I do three thin layers drying until each section is clear and then we are going to get ready to lay that lace down all right um, take your time don't rush if you choose to use adhesive um, it can be hard if you make it hard but you know it's really really easy if you just take your time have patience and you know follow instructions you know here i am on my third layer and i'm just blending everything in and then we're going to hit it with the blow dryer and i am using my low my blow dryer on a low medium heat you don't want it super super hot to where you're gonna burn yourself and i don't use cold because i want it to dry you know as quick as possible now once that's done i'm just going to pull the lace down like so and gently give it a firm press where i have put my adhesive and then i'm just going to repeat the same steps on my sides that i did in the middle once i get through with the left side i'm going to repeat the same steps off on the right until the whole perimeter of the lace is laid down and adhered once all of that is done we're going to get into styling wrap this lace up and wrap this video up Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm over and check up. 
once that is done, I'm going to go in with my Ebon Wonder Lace Spray, and I'm just going to do a nice little thin layer on top. This just seals the deal for me, melts the lace down into the skin, gives you that scalp look, and this is a mandatory step, okay? Once we get that done, um, just doing the whole perimeter, like I said, I'm just dabbing everything in with my finger, not too much. Um, once that's done, I'm going to cover everything with my elastic band. This is what the lace is looking like. It's already given scalp and I haven't even wrapped it up yet. So now I'm going to take my, my Nadula um, elastic band and we're just going to wrap that up. And now I'm going to get into defining the curl pattern, styling it, and giving it more of so, you know, a look. I am going to go in with my Con Air Hot Comb. And I have it set on 425. Just because this was some water wave hair and had a little kink to it, I just upped it the boots a little bit. So I am just defining my hairline, pushing everything back, making it look all nice and neat. Of course, this, of course, this is going to be a no baby hair look. Those of you who subscribe to me know that I have tried to dedicate myself to not doing no baby hairs lately, okay? And so far, it's working. So, here I am just defining my hairline, making it all nice and neat, flawless looking, like scalp, you already know. Once we get done with that, I'm going to go in with a paddle brush and, of course, just a spray bottle with water. And we are going to define this curl pattern. I'm going to wet the hair, but not drench it. You don't want it, you know, soaking wet. But if it's dripping on you a little bit or anything like that, that's fine. That's perfect. Not too much, not too little. Once I get done with that side, I'm going to repeat the same steps on the right side. And then we're going to pop this lace off. And then that will be the finished look. Once that is done, this is what the lace is looking like. Definitely very much scalp, okay? I ate this one up, and I was obsessed with this look, especially with me not having no baby hairs. Like, I just didn't know how to act. Look at it, up close and personal, okay? And then we doing a no part, flip over method style. Like, I was just feeling this hairline and these no baby hairs, okay? So, up close and personal, no flitter. You already see how we coming, and you can't tell me that's not my hair. You can't tell me that's not coming right out of my scalp, like the caption says, okay? Tell me that ain't my hair. Here's a cute little 360. I had to show you guys the back of the wig. Of course, like I said, this is 150 density, water wave texture. This is the natural texture, no products in this hair at all. And it is, I would say, about 40 to 50% dry. I just let it air dry um, after wetting it with my spray bottle. And this is what it was looking like. I didn't put no product in it, no curl cream, no mousse, no nothing. And this is what the hair is looking like naturally. It's not giving, you know, big, poofy, deep wave hair. It's water wave hair, but it's not limp, noodle looking hair either, which I really appreciate love 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 this this is what it's looking like from the front 